Why well, hello my little subjects, my name's King Wolf and welcome back to Liza P and welcome to the part of the episode where I beat the white lady only slightly intoxicated. I I okay, to be honest. I might have drinking I'm going the wrong way. I might have drinking a good amount of Voodoo Ranger tea. But the point remains that in this episode, we're going to be the white lady before we move on. So let's get right into that. Okay, well, that didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. But we're going to ignore it and pretend like we did great. Okay, that works, I guess. You stole my sister from Ow. Okay, okay. I'm dead. Oh, I just got a health back too, and I also definitely was hitting the up button on accident because I was on my uh my recharge thing on my bob and not my health thing on my bob. Alright, so I actually managed to make it over here with full special move and full health and full like recharge or not recharge or uh, healing oh get absolutely schmeckledorfed I've done nothing. I've done nothing but kill like evil puppets, like this whole gameplay. So you can fuck off with all that stole your sister from you bullshit. Oh, look at that! I'm hitting you with a special move now! Cause you're an idiot! If I don't beat her this time, I'm gonna be so upset. Alright, jump in. Idiot. Okay. That's fine. I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of stamina, mama. You're so low on health and I'm just gonna be so upset when I lose to you. I thought I had three of you, but apparently not. Oh, 
there it is. The white lady's locket, the white lady's mask. Oh, that's actually really sad. I will not let your si oh, why is that so close up? I will not let your sister's death go in vain. To be fair, that actually works really well with my outfit. We've done it. All right, ow. All right, we've taken out the white lady. That's really sad, actually. She was trying to like avenge her sister's death. And we stabbed her repeatedly with an umbrella. And now she's very dead. And that really sucks for her. But you know what? We're alive, and that's all that matters. I have 10,000 ergo right now. The city of Krat decided to put an indefinite stop to the investigation on disaster that took place in the Monad Charity House. Monad, Monad Charity House, known as the Rose, Rose Estate. It is to prevent chaos caused by the large-scale uh, spreading of the petrification disease. There has been no confirmed survivors so far. The petrification disease is a deadly epidemic, but this massive spread is unprecedented. The quarantine authorities surmise that petrification disease caused the novel mutation. The Manad Charity House, once a boarding school for kids from the slums, has until recently been home to the founding Manad family. Many students and refugees, the leader of the alchemists, Valentinus Monad, has been confirmed to have passed during the catastrophe, and this will take a toll on the alchemists. Well, that sucks for them. I definitely didn't hit the trigger. That was weird. Ignore the fact that I definitely hit the trigger. And uh, just agree with me the fact that that was weird that the trigger activated like that. All right, damn Ergo Chunk. All right, well, hello. Come here. Thank you, Crescent Moonstone. That's not great, except for that new item we found. We'll, we'll maybe see if that helps out, because if that's stronger than the umbrella, then sick. Where do we need to go from here? All right, I can't roll through any of that, so that's sick. Stargazer, perfect. Ow. Well, let's head back to the hotel for a second. And we'll just see how this, uh, how this goes. Because we definitely need to get some capacity upgrades still, so we can use some of these stronger weapons. Um, let's see. Oh, wrong thing. I genuinely love, you know what? I'm like, um, the fact that cosmetics are straight up, like just cosmetic and not like, oh, you get a bonus for wearing this mask or that mask. Cause wearing cool masks and just looking cool is always fun to me. Like I like, I genuinely love the look of this mask plus this outfit. And I think it's really like, Sad stories of, like, this sister trying to avenge her sister. It's fun to me. 
So wearing her mask as part of the, at least part of the series, like, hits me in a way that it may not hit everyone. You can craft a legion arm with a legion plug, use Vanini craft machine at the hotel. Um, it may not hit everyone the same way it hits me, but um, I really enjoy that type of story stuff. I'm probably not articulating it great because I'm a little bit drunk. Um... But it, it, you know, it, it, it kind of is what it is. Uh, so craft legion arm, wave of fire. I don't want to do that. I want to, so I want to switch back to Aegis. Block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the embo uh, embodied device explodes and deals a damage to the enemy. Eh. A legion arm that fires armor piercing shells from a distance. You know what? I would rather have that. It's not the one I'm going to use. But I would rather have that. I would like to switch Legion Arms, though. To... How do I switch Legion Arms? Yes. I would like to switch to... Puppet String. I like being able to pull people towards me. And now with you, I would like to upgrade the newest thing I got. I can't remember what it's called. Do I have stuff to upgrade you? All right, I do. Um, you. Dance's Curved Sword Blade. I would like to upgrade the shit out of you. Because you seem like a fun weapon to have. Uh, so I need one more Crescent Moon Sound to upgrade you again. So let's see real quick. Which one are you? This one? So my weight would go up a little bit. But my like attack and everything, everything will go up. As long as I'm rolling fine. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Alright, so we're going to use a new weapon for the rest of this episode. How much ergo do I have left? Not enough to upgrade capacity. That's fine. Oops. Wrong buttons. Let's go test this new weapon real quick a little bit. Um, C motivity, B technique, 181 plus 76. All right, let's test this weapon a little bit. This is an, uh, I pers Oh, hello. Abraham Lincoln. You're walking about in a place like this. You must be a stalker. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. My wife's body lies on Rosa Isabel Street. There was a fire, and I couldn't reach her through the flames. Copy that. I know she's gone, but I hate to think of her just lying there. Okay. Bring me her belongings. Then I'd have something to remember her by. Oh, absolutely, my guy. Thank you. Small kindnesses like this. Give me I will bring you your wife's bones, no question asked. She used to look so beautiful in her black dress. I miss her so much. Every day is harder than the last. Please, bring me her belongings. Her belongings, got it. So I will bring you her, um, her gown, her black dress that you mentioned. Also her, like, dildo that's like 17 sizes, um, above what your penis is. Um, and also the protein shake she likes because, uh, she's a fit woman. How much I know about your wife is not, uh, your concern, actually. Ow! 
Oh, that's actually a sick move. At this point, I should remind you that I've been drinking all night. So if I say anything too offensive, blame the alcohol. I also have not been tracking at all how long this episode is. So we're going to try and get to the next station. And then I'll cut the episode for Sober Nick to take over. Oh god. Oh dear god! I'm still alive, and that's all that matters. Hey, you know what? I survived that attack, and that's all that matters. I really want to use my Y move to see how uh, that goes. Hey you! Experiment time! That's the wrong button. Well, that was kinda cool. Alright, please tell me this go- Okay, this goes directly back to a, uh... Insert what this thing is called here. Stargazer. I knew that. Uh, back to the Stargazer. Um, Alright, so Sober Nick, I would love for you to take over right now. And save the audience for whatever the heck is happening right now. Or from whatever the heck is happening right now. Good luck! Well, I th oh, the mic is too far away from me. All right, well, now I gotta move stuff around. Oh, dang it, drunk me. Why didn't you record a full 25 minute video? All right, I got about eight minutes left to just explore and do some stuff. Oh God, it's laggy. All right, so I should mention the last, this is gonna be a hectic episode. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be drunk Nick playing the game for 20, for 17-ish minutes and then sober Nick taking over for eight minutes. Um. So two things, the game lags when I first boot it up usually, so usually I run around before I record the last few minutes, or before I record an episode. Um, but two, I have had a couple more Voodoo Ranger teas, so I'm sober at the moment. By the end of these eight minutes, we'll see. I'm sipping on a Diet Dr. Pepper right now. Don't think that'll help. Oh, actually, we can, we can, I was already at the tree, but I can, I can redeem a tree, I guess. Um, so thank you, Drunk Me, for taking care of the white lady for me. Um, hello, cat. Okay, still hates me. That's cool. Um, the tree's over here, right? Am I crazy? Did I just lose the tree already? All right, no, we're good. Um, look at that. We now have three gold coin fruits. The world is lovely. All right, but as I was saying before, before I lost track of my brain immediately, um, if the game continues to lag after the initial loading, it's because I'm also currently installing Black Myth Wukong, which is a 130 gigabyte game, which I was not expecting it to be that big, which is concerning because my computer is uh, not great. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So let's get into this next area a little bit. See you, see what we're working with. Take another sip of my diet, Dr. Pepper. Never been a big fan of Dr. Pepper, but since I started drinking diet soda, it's one of the things that doesn't lose too much flavor uh, with the uh, taking away of the sugar. Okay, now here's where the issue lies. I don't know which direction we came from. From down there. Alright, we came from down there. We came up here. I 
I don't remember if we explored up here at all. That goes back to that courtyard. All right, cool. Sick, sick, sick. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Into here is the stargazer. There's the direction we need to go. I th No. That door opens, so that goes back towards the beginning of the level. Oh, hello, Abraham Lincoln. Her body is on Rosa Isabel Street. She used to look so beautiful in her black dress. All right, I do remember so much. you mentioning someone. I don't remember exactly what I'm doing. I know I'm helping you. I don't remember uh, how. Also, I have a new weapon that I don't recognize. So thank you, Drunk Nick, for having a new weapon. I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to look at the stats. I'm just going to roll with whatever you've decided. So thank you. What in the world was that? Hmm. Ow, ow, ow. Crazy how I forgot to press the button for uh, diving attack. So I just climbed up that ladder to jump off of it like an idiot. I am not on the healing item. This is going great so far. I do like this weapon. This weapon's fun. Uh, did you just throw crap at me, sir? Rude. Okay, where am I? Hello. Okay, do you ever stop attacking? I hit a wall. Uh-oh. Okay, that could have gone better. Hello. Go ahead and explode. I'm like, I'm not going to come near you. Wait. Okay, this just leads back here. Wait, there's an item there. Okay! That's rude. That was disrespectful. And childish, okay? So maybe this isn't an area I've been in before? Okay. Not cool. Maybe this isn't an area. I thought this was an area I've already been in. Because it's playing the music. Or maybe, I j maybe Drunk Me just missed a bunch of items. It honestly could be either or. Jesus Christ! Okay, nope. Definitely just an area I missed. That's sick. Okay, that's a sick special move. Hello? Oh, yeah, you're the creepy baby things that heads turn around. I forgot about y'all.
All right, that all worked out. All right, well. Okay, so is this a big loop that I missed or is this, okay, you have a flamethrower, so this is definitely a, Well, I collected this gentleman's wedding ring, so we should head back to him, I guess. And do more exploring when I'm fully sober instead of half sober, you know what I'm saying? The sun will come out tomorrow, bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. I, every time I hear that song start, that's what comes into my head. Alright, we're gonna head back to the stargazer. And now we know there's actually two paths we can go. That scared me. Because we can go that way to that gentleman, which we're going to talk to in the next episode. We can go downstairs or we can just go up this thing. So we'll do that in the next episode. But I think I've uh, done enough to finish out the time that I allot myself for these episodes. And uh, we'll have fun in the next one. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.